Welcome back to Game On, presented by Straw. And welcome back, a big one today, Hawaii taking on UCLA. Well, last year, our Game On correspondent, Leah Kamana, told us about the international diversity of UH athletics. Today, Leah tells us a story about an athlete from Hawaii that decided to play at the University of Hawaii, and she's very happy she decided to do that. When local track and field talent Rayon Black first stepped foot on UH's campus in 2013, she had big plans. She still does, but her journey is far from what she had imagined. Well, one of the things that my dad used to teach me when I was younger, you know, was like, what do you believe? You know, like, what are your morals? He used to always ask me, you know, like, if this came up, what would you do? And so one of the things that he asked me was, if you were to get pregnant, you know, like, what would you do? Black was faced with that very question not once, but twice in starting her collegiate track career. Her son Ezekiel was born in February of 2015, and nearly two years later, she welcomed her second son, Elijah. My mom watches them all day, and my, when my dad's home, he watches them too. And it's like, we take care of this, and you focus on that, and then when you come home, you can have them back. When I was pregnant with Ezekiel, I was still in school. My belly was the team's belly, so it was like, you know, rub it for good luck, you know, keep going. I have, like, support, you know, like, no matter, like, what part of my life I'm in. She took time off from track during her first pregnancy. With her second, she felt it was best to put everything on hold, but now she is back, and feeling stronger than ever. With my firstborn, I had a C-section, so that was very hard, you know, mentally, physically, you know, like, I don't think I ever really got back to where I was before I had him. After having my second born, I had him, you know, regular, naturally, and um, I'm actually 10 times stronger now than I was when I first started off running track, you know, like I lift heavier, you know, like still getting in shape, but I feel 10 times faster than I was. This spring will be Black's junior season with the Rainbow Wahine, where she competes in the 100 and 200 meters, long jump, and four by 100 meter relay. For this season, my goal is to make it to the top uh, 10 list on our track and field outdoor and indoor, and also to make it to the Big West final. This isn't the journey she initially imagined but she wouldn't change it for the world. I want to teach my sons that you don't have an excuse to give up. Mommy didn't give up, so you can't give up. But definitely having my firstborn, it really kept me going. He really taught me to just keep pressing, you know, beyond, you know, like what I thought my limits were. And then having the second one just encouraged me even the more to where like, I knew that I had to, you know, finish what I set out to do in the beginning. What a great story. What a real inspiration Rayon is. Now, she was All-State, won a bunch of state championships. She probably could have gone to a number of schools on the mainland, elected to stay in Hawaii, uh, to be closer to her family and, and with her kids. And it seems like it's worked out pretty well for her. So, of course, when she chose to go to UH, she didn't know her sons were going to be a part of her journey. But she definitely couldn't have made a better decision. She has an amazing support system in all parts of her life. Her family, her friends, her teammates, they're all there to uh, help her accomplish her goals and make sure she accomplishes everything that she set out to do in the beginning. So it's been great. Yeah, that's awesome. Now the track and field team uh, finished up a meet in Seattle recently. How'd she do? Um, this was their second meet of the season, and she, she felt she did really good. She's feeling really strong. Um, she had a really strong showing in the 60 meters in their opening meet two weeks ago. Um, she knew she needed to improve on the 200, and she did just that this weekend. She shaved about a half second off her time, so she's feeling really good. The indoor season's really short, so they only have one more competition weekend. Um, February 9th, 10th, 11th, the team's back in Seattle where they have two separate meets, and then they go into indoor championships and then outdoor season. So, you know, she's really looking forward to see how she progresses and the team progresses throughout the rest of the season. Indoor track, outdoor track. Parenthood, school. She's got a full play. Great story. We'll keep an eye on Rayon for sure. Thank you, Leah. Thank you. All righty, we'll take a break. We'll come back and we'll start focusing on the rematch. Number three, Hawaii. Number two, UCLA.